Welcome to Polish village in Turkey. We are in uh, Poloneska today, which Polonesko. is Poloneska. Yes, which in Polish is called Adampol, and it's a village close to Istanbul that was apparently um, a settlement for Polish immigrants in the late 19th century. Uh, apparently, Polish people after the November uprising were immigrating here. So. Right now we are going to go and explore. There are apparently a few things to see about history of Polish people. We are staying at a, a guest house run by a Polish uh, lady. And hopefully we can eat uh, Polish food and talk to as many uh, Polish people as possible. Let's see. We start cycling of the Polish village with uh, visiting the house of a person called Ciocia Zosia, which translates to <laughs> Aunt Zofia. And basically, she was a very remarkable person here, uh, due to the fact that she was paying a lot of attention to uh, keep the Polish tradition alive. She was teaching Polish and Polish history, so uh, there's a museum in her old house. And now we're going to have lunch, and I'm hoping for Polish pierogi. Let's see, Polish cuisine apparently is here. I never knew I liked pierogi so much. Good. The dumplings were very good. By the way, they were called uh, Polish ravioli, which is so far away from the name pierogi. But anyway, this is the church. That's a Polish church built by Polish workers. Whatever. So let's go discover more of Polonesco. We now have a private guide here. Another city that's a god doggy heaven for me. Welcome to Polonesco, or maybe rather Polonesco Vita Vas. And if anybody had doubts, it's Adama, Adam, Adampo. I forgot how to speak Polish. I'm walking to the church now. Uh, it's apparently a Polish church called uh, Matki Boskie Częstochowskie in Polish. And uh, yeah, I mean, not particularly religious, but uh, for many years, religion has uh, played a very important role in Polish history. So I think it might be a curious place to see. Just coming back from uh, the church with a new doggy friend. So it's, let's say it's a bit different than in Poland. I have not been in church in Poland for good five years now but um, last time I've been there people were not that engaged so uh, here half of the mass is somehow taken care of by the people not the priests which is completely different because in Poland people don't really do that that's the first thing the second thing half of the mass was in Polish the other half of the mass was in Turkish which was curious. I mean, I suppose everybody here speaks like Polish and Turkish if they're going to the Polish church. But it's, it's curious. I somehow expected that it will be in Turkish mostly. It's um, a bit different. We are on our way back from Polonesko to Istanbul already, getting the flight to Antalya today. And Polonesko was, was okay. It was well uh, I think the first is quite a popular tourist destination, which in fact when you think of it, it's not that surprising because it's just 15 kilometers away from Istanbul. Uh, so mostly like inside tourism is happening here. And in terms of Polish people, we didn't really manage to meet too many of them. We met a few. Uh, well, I almost met them at the church yesterday. Uh, but Apart from our house, I didn't manage to talk to too many people. It was a little bit disappointing. But maybe it's also because we were not 
long enough here. Uh, but generally, a nice, I would say, getaway if you're coming to Istanbul for like a week, it's a nice day trip, I would say. Yeah. Uh, just in the mountains, nice area to have some hikes and stuff like that. And yeah, 